Siéntelo, mi amor. Siente como sube aquí ya la tentación. A lot of illegal killings were happening, and that's where they buried the bodies. Yeah, it's one of the biggest um, illegal mass graves in Colombia. Pero tú viviste acá cuando era peligroso. So today we're walking around Camino 13. It's formerly one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Colombia. Um, but recently it's undergone a transformation. And right now, I'm actually on a tour with these folks here. Uh, it's very pretty. And it's really cool to see how some local people live. So right now we're climbing up a set of stairs, going to look at a view, a better view of the city. Wow, you can really see a lot from up here. So off in the distance there, right there, is one of the biggest uh, mass graves in Colombia. Uh, my tour guide was telling me it became really infamous um, I think in the late 90s, early 2000s, when there was a lot of murders of police officers and uh, yeah, a lot of illegal killings were happening and that's where they buried the bodies. So yeah, it's one of the biggest um, illegal mass graves in Colombia. So the tour guide was telling us that at one point this was actually all free land. So you could come here and claim your own lot. But the interesting thing was, she said that if you left for like a day or two, someone could have come back and claimed your land for themselves. So she said the history of this place is really tumultuous and uh, you know, its roots are, are kind of in violence from what I understand. And you can see like, they've just built up everything here, right? It's so densely populated. She said there used to be like rivers and streams and lakes here and now they're just all gone because of all the development. So you can see all the street art around. It's really just everywhere. All the walls are covered in paintings. Our tour guide was telling us that every few years there's like a street art festival and uh, so a lot of these, these paintings will change from year to year. That's what we were just on uh, was apparently really important for the development of this neighborhood because before it existed, no one could get to work, right? You had to like walk down many miles to go to work, but with the escalator and the cable car, now people up here are able to go to work more easily. So it's kind of connected them to the rest of Medellin. Yeah, very steep. Yeah. So now our tour guide is letting us into her home to look at the view. So we just got to her her patio up here. Look at this view, bro. When I travel and I find a place that is so obviously not where I come from. It's one of the greatest feelings in the world. And I feel exactly that way here in Camino 13. I mean, this is like quintessential South American, like mountain Pueblo. It's, it's incredible, I love it. You have just like the jam-packed, the jam-packed living situations, you know. People are playing salsa music every 10 feet. And it's a Friday night, people are coming out, like shit's going down right now. So it's just when I look at this area right here, right in there, that's where I feel like, mm, this is definitely South America. It's a great feeling. Baila, baila, baila. 
So we just finished with the tour, and I'm getting some chorizo right now. We kind of all went our separate ways, and uh, I'm just sitting here with my my chica. So the tour ended, and now I'm just walking the streets aimlessly, looking for whatever comes up. The view up here is really amazing, man. Everywhere you go, you can see basically the whole city. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, very characteristically South America, right? It's obviously not Georgia. <laughs> it's a great feeling. Yeah, my tour guide was saying that uh, recently there's been a lot more money being poured into uh, Communa 13. Um, yeah, basically there was like a huge struggle between like the guerrillas, the paramilitary groups, the government, and another faction, maybe the cartels. But basically there was like nonstop violence here for like 15 years. All those groups fighting each other. So yeah, this area has a very long history of violence and as of recently they've been putting more money into it as you can see you know they're building a fucking playground um very touristy area so i think it's for the better and it's, it's really nice to see some place with such a dark history you know rise from the ashes so to speak and the people here are lovely let's go meet some Hey, how are you? Birmase. 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 La melodía del danzar desde la 13 con el friend. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just met this guy. He's a local artist. Tú eres un artista, artista. artista local. Artista local de la 13. Desde como la 13. Bueno. Medellín. Y has, has vivido acá todo, todo de tu vida. Eh, cinco años. Cinco años. ¿De dónde eres? Eh, estuve en, viviendo en, en Vigado, ah. que también queda por acá en Medellín, en Vigado, eh, Calcedo. Ok. Y de ahí llegué como una 13. Ah, nice. ¿Y por qué tú uh, escogiste como una 13? Como una 13. Sí. Me enamoré. <risa> me enamoré. Una mujer me enamoré. Me enamoró. Ah, tu novia. Yeah. Ah. Voy a ser papá. Ah, ¿cuántos años tiene? Tiene cuatro meses. Ah, mi sobrina tiene tres. Oh, very <laughs> Qué cool. linda, qué linda. Ya, ¿y, ¿Y qué te parece de como una, como una tres? La no, gente, excelente. la harta, ¿qué? Excelente. Pues la comuna, todos somos dándole al arte. A mí me gusta hacer mi arte, a ellos les gusta hacer su arte. Plata, guay. So arte sí. es muy común aquí. Sí, claro. Arte de los calles, como mur murales, También. como graffiti o qué. Eh, music. Ah, música. Prueba. Ah. Una prueba. Siéntelo, mi amor. Siente como sube aquí ya la tentación. Cuando suena el pi, el ambiente ya subió. Comienza el acto, Birma Ser ya llegó. Mira, chica hermosa, fue una atracción de tu mirada y ese gran culo. Wow, 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 wow. Este es Birma Ser. Mueve la cadera con tremenda sabrosura La disco está llena y el ambiente sin censura ¿Por qué te miro mami? Porque está bien chula Tú manejas tu hermosura Y el ambiente es tipo y con tremendo flow Y conocerte a ti me puso feliz hoy De repente yo te vi Aquí como que todo lo sentí Todo fue así cuando yo te vi No me confundí No me... Hey, hey. Papi, nice, este es la 13. Nice. Chévere, chévere. Papi, este yeah. es lo que me gusta hacer, cantar, nice. darle a la música. Eh. La música, la cultura, la gente. ¿Y es, es, está, es seguro aquí? Segurísimo. ¿Ya? Seguro. Ah, mi amiga. Hey, ¿Me lo recuerdas? ¿Por qué? Hey, ¿Qué tal? ¿Nos tomamos una foto? Sí, sí dale. Sí, Yo puedo yeah. el celular, Estoy sí. tomando un video. <laughs> Hey. ¿Qué te parece hey, de como una 13? Ah. Por la gente. Lo mejor de, Estados de Medellín. Unidos. ¿Y Estados Unidos? Sí. No lo conozco, pero me gustaría conocerlo más allá. No, es cierto. ¿Y es seguro por, por norteamericanos o no, qué? No, 
Seguro. A ustedes los cuidan, los cuidan, cuidan más los gringos que a los propios países. Ay, ah, real, real. Claro, claro. No, es que es, es en serio. Así, yeah, en serio. Los, es, no, ah, mi es amor. Ah. Si ella si quiere, yo lo invito a la cerveza bueno, bueno, para bueno, que okay. Nosotros lo cuidamos. Está tomando un chorrito. Ah, oh, no, no sé qué hombre. No. Cerveza, oh. cerveza. Ah, bueno, ¿por qué no? Ahorita. ¿Por qué no? Ya. Ya me gusta el este día. Mucho gusto. Cuídate, Cuando Marica. quiera. Cuando yeah. quiera. Bueno, gracias. Uh, I love the people here. Dale, dale, dale. Oh, hey, yo soy Conner. Hey, me recuerdas, ¿no? Ah, hey, todo bien, todo bien. Yeah, no, no. Pero estoy tomando un video. Ya. La gente de Medellín. Eso pregúntenles a ellos también, hablé con ellos. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Hablé con ellos. ¿Eh? ¿Viene con ellos? No, yo soy solo, solo. Ah, gracias. Ah, gracias. Wow. Estamos en Medellín. Alright, I just ran into this girl that I met earlier, and she sat me down, and we're gonna chill, I guess. Colombia is dangerous. Do you agree? No, 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 no. No, in this area. In this area, in 1982. This is very dangerous, very, very dangerous yeah. with the Pablo Escobar. Sí. Uh, too much uh, cocaine, coca, marijuana. Sí. And this year is very, very dangerous. Dead. Too much death. Yeah. Uh, a day. Maybe 100, 150. A day. A day. A day. Wow. Now. Now, now. Now, now, now it's okay. Yeah. The people is okay. Uh, you you see the business? The business is open. No. It's safe. Pero tú viviste acá cuando era peligroso. Yeah. Yeah. Ah shit. I I go I I go to New York coming back. Yeah. Six months in New York, just come back. Para la seguridad. Yeah. Ah sí. Acá acá es bueno. Ah. Acá es lo que son Saru y el Sonde es. Muy bueno por acá. Ah. Too much people, mucho turista. Yeah. Eh, mucho dinero. Nosotros un fin de semana nos vendíamos eh, 3 mil dólares. Mucho dinero. Pero ahora por el COVID, mire cómo está esto. Sol. Sí, sí. Ahorita, un sábado, un domingo, eh, 400 dólares, 500 dólares más o menos. Pero bajo mucho. Ah. Bajo, bajo mucho. Yeah. Pero, pero, es bueno. Yeah. Medellín, claro. es bueno. La gente de Estados Unidos, is coming, coming to Medellín. Yeah, please come. Yeah, everybody coming to Medellín. Yeah, Medellín is so it's beautiful. the best. The best, the best. <laughs> All right, man, awesome. Thanks okay. for your time, gracias. Okay, nice <laughs> All right. Yo, 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 Colombia, Colombia. So now we're on the way. Vamos a un discoteca, ¿no? Discoteca al Parque Lleras. Techno music. Here we go. Parque Lleras. Mis amigos, mis amigos, ¿qué es algo sobre de Colombia que toda la gente tiene que saber? Que vengan a conocer Colombia, que es lo mejor. Tiene partes maravillosas. Cosas uh -huh. que uno como colombiano prefiere irse a conocer otras partes en vez de conocer las de Colombia que son mucho mejores que las de otras partes. Uh -huh. En Colombia ya no es la misma que antes, hemos cambiado. Colombia ya es un país más más bonito, ya sí, más, más cultural, más sí. seguro sí. y la gente disfruta venir acá por lo mismo, ah. es muy bonito y los invito a que vayan a Caño Cristales, el mejor ah. lugar para irse a que tiene Colombia. Cuidan más los extranjeros que a nosotros mismos <risa> los países. <risa> <risa> so we just got to this neon club, I don't really know. Oh, we just got here. Oh shit! Nice. All right. 
I'm not really sure what's going on, but this place is pretty rad. Now we're taking pictures. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people recommended this place, and uh, yeah, it's pretty rad. Just like a little room with a bunch of neon paintings. So I had a bit of change of plans. I uh, ended up getting a migraine and decided to bail on the locals. Um, I just could not really handle going to a discotheque right now. But I found a really nice restaurant, got some live music, very nice vibes. This is much more my speed right now. Cool guys, so that's it for today. We had a good one. We went to um, Kamuna 13, learned a lot about uh, some Medellin history, met some locals, walked around. Just a classic day, man. And now we're ending it with some nice acoustic music. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.